Can I help you? May I speak to Dr. Corman, please? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, ma'am. Are you in pain? Uh, I'm not here to see him about my teeth. Why are you whispering? Uh, please, Lieutenant Colombo. I'm whispering because I don't want to alarm the patients. They look nervous enough already. That's very thoughtful of you, Lieutenant. Let me just check with the doctor. Doctor? Doctor? Yes, Francis. Dr. Corman, there's a lieut... There's a Lieutenant Colombo here to see you. Now send him right into my office. You can wait right in here, Lieutenant. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am. Oh, look at all these movie stars. Yeah, yes. look at this. Dr. Corman has many celebrities among his clientele. Oh, Adam Evans. Yeah. What, what a, a shame, shame huh? I just saw one of his pictures. Yeah? Yeah, it was in a tank. It was in the desert. He come out of the tank. He had a big Japanese sword. Did you see that one? No, I missed that oh, one. Oh, it was good. Poor well, man. He was so young. He always lit up the place when he came in for an appointment. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he was due in for some work the very afternoon of the night he died. Oh, so you just saw him a few days ago. No, he didn't come in. You mean he never showed up? Oh, no, Lieutenant. Mr. Evans was far too considered ever to be a no-show. No, he called the doctor himself to cancel. Uh, thank you, Francis. I'll take it from here. Oh. Sorry, I don't have much time, Lieutenant. I have a patient that's waiting. I understand, sir. Just a couple of questions. Take a minute. Uh, the lab examined the tequila bottle, the blender, and the glass. And? And uh, they found poison, sir. Well, that's absurd. The bottle was clean, but the residue in the blender and the glass was loaded with digitalis. It's unbelievable. Now, that's the same medicine that your wife takes. Is that right, sir? Yes. Are you suggesting that my wife poisoned Adam Evans? Was anyone else there, sir? No, but I know that she didn't kill him. Can you think of anyone else who might have had a reason to kill him? No, I can't, Lieutenant. Adam was very well liked. I never heard a bad word spoken about him. Now, he ran around with a lot of women, if that means anything. Well, thank you, sir. That could be very helpful. Well, I know you got a patient waiting. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just want to say before I go that the uh, boy of all the cases, this one, I'll tell you, this is a mishmash. I, you know, the fellow takes that amount of poison. How does he get in his car and drive all the way up to Mulholland, 10 miles away, and then die? Exactly what is it you're trying to say, Lieutenant? I don't know, sir. If he was poisoned at your house and died there, I mean, the body could have been moved. Do you seriously think that my wife killed Adam Evans, drove him up to Mulholland Drive, and pushed his car over the cliff? Oh, no, sir. And you want to know why? Yes. I don't see how she could have moved such a big man from the pool house to the car without help. Would you validate this for me, sir, my parking ticket? Sure. Just one more thing. 